Hello aspirants today i am here to talk about importance of mains answer writing as you know this upsc examination will be conducted in the three stages so first stage is your prelims so in prelims you will be having just choose the correct answers and you need to get just 55 percentage of marks to be in the safe side and after clearing prelims you will be entering into second stage that is your mains so this mains you will be having the examinations based on gs paper 1 gs paper 2 3 4 essay and compulsory languages along with your optional and this stage of mains is your written examination you have to write answers and you have to write answers for 20 questions within the time span of 3 hours and after clearing this UPSC means you will be having the next stage that is interview stage and interview it is for again 250 marks so in this all these three stages if you want to pass if you want to clear this UPSC especially in the first stage you need to get 55 percentage of marks and even if you are getting 55 percentage of marks or 90 or 95 percentage yes you are name that is seen in the list of clearing prelims that's it so this marks will not be added so the marks that will be added is your mains marks and your interview marks to get the final list of candidates who clear this UPSC examination of that year so mains plays an important role because in interview many students they will be having stage fear even though if you are having knowledge, if you are not giving the proper answers, yes, you will be getting less marks. But where you can get the good marks, that is in your mains. So if you are having good answer writing skills, and if you are attempting all the questions within the time limit, I can assure you that your name will be there in the final list. So here, main answer writing is very important because writing, 20 answers in a time span of 3 hours it is the biggest challenge I hope you had seen this year mains question paper of either I say GS1, GS2, GS3 and GS4 and especially if you see this essay in essay you will be having section A and section B in section A you will be having 4 essays in section B again you will be having 4 essays and out of this eight essays you have to write two essays so one from section a and one from section b so actually earlier in section a we used to have essay from current effects but now both in section a and section b we are getting philosophical essays and to get good marks in this essay that to writing this philosophical essay it is a big test challenge so if you want to get good score like more than 150 marks in your essay so you need to be prepared that is a beforehand you need to have some quotes you need to get some thoughts of great people you need to know some ideas and you need to know some examples of famous personalities for example in the field of education in the field of history in the field of people who got Nobel prizes and the people you can also collect from the sports etc so apart from that you need to be prepared with the data for example acer report on education and you can see the crime reports which are released by national crime record bureau so that reports you can collect from current effects and even you can get good data from your that year economic survey and even from the budget also you can get data so following current effects is very important so this is the thing that you need to prepare to write a good essay. So not only writing essay, but even answering this GS1, GS2, GS3 and GS4, it became very challenging. So if I have to talk to uh, you regarding this ethics, so this uh, ethics paper, I can say it's a very, very lengthy. Even from the theory, it is lengthy and also from case studies, it is lengthy. So if you want to complete that paper within time, yes, answer writing practice is must. So mainly many people, many students, especially like beginners or even who gave twice or thrice attempts in this UPSC, 
they are failing uh, they are facing difficulty okay in clearing mains so many of them they are not getting the interview calls so the important reason behind that is not performing well in mains and they do not have proper answer writing skills or maybe they are not managing time well they are not writing all the answers within the time limit so these are the some important reasons for the failure in mains so students who are failing in this mains so we came up with one best opportunity for you that is this daily mains answer writing course so this course it is for both beginners and also students who gave their attempts in upsc but they are failing to clear mains so let me explain like how this course go on so first one here is so we will be giving you detailed syllabus okay so this course it is for one year and in this 52 weeks we plan according to the importance of subject and the length of the syllabus so we are giving like 22 weeks for gs1 and 12 weeks for gs2 and 12 weeks for gs3 and at last 5 weeks for your ethics and in the week days especially from monday to saturday so every day one question will be given to you and that question will be posted in our website rathodsisacademy.com and by 10 o'clock in the morning the question will be updated so what the thing you have to do is you have to write that question in any a4 size paper or any book where you are practicing your mains answers you have to write the question and you have to start your stopwatch and try to answer that question and initially we are not restricting on the time you have to complete so and so answer within 10 minutes or 12 minutes so initially you have to focus on the quality of answer so once you gain the knowledge like how you have to address introduction what content you have to write and what are the diagrams you have to include or flow charts or maps later on after 3 to 4 months we will be giving you the time limit like you have to complete this so and so answer within this time period based on your initial time because some students they may write fast some students may write slow so some students speed will be more and some students speed will be less so based on the time they are taking based on that we will be giving the specific time limit for the specific student according to their needs and after writing answer you have to scan that answer and you have to send that pdf to our mail id so after you send that pdf to our mail id we will be downloading your answer pdf and we will be correcting the answer so in this way you can see how the live correction is going on
So after once correction is done, we will be giving you detailed feedback like where you are going wrong. So where you can improve. So what data you included. So what other reports you can add. So wherever you are missing, we are giving you the detailed feedback. And after evaluation, we will be sending your answer in corrected format to your mail ID again. That is, you are going to receive this corrected answer of yours within 24 hours. Max by 48 hours, you will be receiving your answer. And after seeing your answer, you can evaluate yourself like where are you going wrong? Where you are going wrong? And you can make the important points like what are the suggestions we are giving you? So work on that suggestions and try to improve. So on Sundays, you will be having essay or case study. One Sunday you will be having essay and another Sunday you will be having case study. That means on alternate Sundays, you will be having case studies and essays. So essay is very important. And in this one year, you are going to write 27 essays. Means you can collect necessary information. Like you can prepare quotes. And you can focus on some data, like reports. You can also work on examples of famous personalities. You can also work on like how to ask the questions like anecdotes, right? So these are the some important areas that you can improve in this one year. And even in the case studies also, we will be giving you the format like how to address so and so case study. Because, for example, if you are getting case study from active chapter, you have to address it differently from the case study that you are answering from this property and governance. Correct? So here, whatever the approach, that means, especially in the case studies, you will be having three types of approaches. We are going to give the details of that approaches, how to address these case studies. So this is about the question at 10 a.m. You can get the question daily in our website. So this is the first one. You have to write answer and you have to send your answer to our mail ID so that there will be detailed evaluation. And one more thing here is, yes, you will be having one question like, ma'am, I'm a beginner. I don't know how to write an answer. So for that, initially, we will be giving you orientation classes after enrolling into these courses. There we will be discussing like how to answer the questions in IBC format. And we'll be also discussing about the keywords and how to write an essay and how to address case studies. So after enrolling, you will be also having this orientation class if you are a beginner. So don't worry about that. And one more thing I can say here is we will be also providing you the model answer. So if you have not completed that so into subject in that week, for example, let us take this scenario. Yes, it may happen because in this long journey of UPSC, yes, sometimes you can feel highs and sometimes you can feel low. And sometimes may be, maybe because of your health conditions or maybe because of some family conditions, you may not complete that so and so syllabus in that week. So at that time, you can see the modal answers and you can try to answer it and you can send me the answers on the mail. Okay, and one more thing here is, so after enrollment, we will be adding you in a telegram group. So in this telegram group, we will be sharing you the best answer. And apart from that best answer, if there are any reports or data from the current affairs, we will be sharing that data that you can write in your book and you can save for the future use. And apart from that data, we will be also sharing some maps. We will be also sharing some diagrams, flowcharts, which are useful for our UPSC mains point of view. So this is the use of that telegram channel. And one more thing here is uh, we can give you the updates like when this Zoom session is going to happen. And before half an hour also, we will be giving you updates in that telegram channel so that you are not going to miss that live session. And one more thing here is for the questions that you are giving, for the essays and for the case studies, we will be giving you the videos, video explanation part, so that you can understand what is the content that you have to add in that. So and so answer. So where you are missing. We will be also not strictly talking about the mains answers, but even for example, if you are discussing about home rule movement, 
or for example non cooperation movement quit india movement simons commissions so at that area at that point of time so if there is any point which is important from your prelims we will be also discussing that we are not only strictly talking about this means but even here and there if there is anything which is important from our prelims we also making a note on that okay so this is the one important thing and on every sunday we will be having the live doubts discussion good evening okay, if you have any doubts everyone. you can talk to me on live and you can directly contact me on this zoom sessions so that i will be taking your doubts yeah, and i will be resolving months. your doubts so in this session also i will be also talking about some important topics uh, which are in the news and that topics may be important from your mains and prelims i will be also discussing about that okay so this is about this course in detail so we are going to provide you daily one question on sundays we will be having a ethics case study or essay and we also provide you model answer and there will be evaluation of your answer and we provide you the model answer for your gs questions and also your essay and case study and this course it is one year course and we are going to complete entire your gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 in one year and we will give you the micro listing of topics and which topics you have to read in that so and so week and apart from that we will be also providing you the classes on the answers case studies and essays and we are also having the live doubt discussion session on every sunday so these are the some key highlights of this course so join this course and i can assure you that you are going to master this answer writing skills and i will help you to clear your upsc mains and achieve your dream of clearing upsc so i wish you a very all the best for all of you and i hope that you are going to join this course and we will be meeting soon on the live thank you so much